The man who's led New Jersey's Sandy recovery is quitting. Mark Frizan leaves a spotty record. He established more than four dozen programs to help the state emerge from the disaster, but thousands of families are still displaced. His office was embroiled in charges of mismanagement and accusations Hoboken Mayor Don Zimmer had been bullied into supporting a redevelopment program in exchange for Sandy funding, a charge Frizan denied. He'll be replaced by his deputy, Terrence Brody. Frizan leaves with praise from Governor Christie and good riddance from at least one environmental group. Jeff Tittle is director of the New Jersey chapter of the Sierra Club. Thanks for being with us, Jeff. Thank you for having me on. You've warned that Brody's elevation would not fundamentally alter the direction of the recovery effort. Why? Because we have to change our policies. I mean, first and foremost, we're rebuilding after Sandy, and we're not looking at the most up-to-date data on climate change and sea level rise, so we're putting people back in the harm's way. But the biggest part of it is that the frustration that so many people along the coast feel because it's just taking too long to get funding out to people. Uh, we have an, you know, an elevation program that's fallen flat. You know, the, yesterday the governor had talked about putting out 130 uh, grant, a little over 130 grants for people. And, you know, it's less than 5% of, you know, of the people who've applied have gotten funding uh, up until that point. Is and part so, of that because federal dollars are slow to, to come into the state, or is this all state-centric? No, the, you know, the state-centric. I mean, they try to blame everybody but themselves, but there's money sitting in these accounts uh, that haven't gone out. And some of the program areas, more than a third of the money that's come in from, the, uh, excuse me, in some of the program areas, only a third of the money has actually gone out when it comes to uh, putting people back in their homes. Why and do you it, think it, that's true? I, I think it's because they brought in consultants that were picked for political reasons, not necessarily for competence, that, um, that, the, you know, that the governor was off uh, running here and there with his national political agenda and no one was mining the store. Um, you know, for a czar, he really had, uh, he really did very little. Um, and I think uh, that's part of the problem, that money's sitting there while people are suffering. I'm going to direct your attention to another issue that came up today. A federal judge uh, gave the final go-ahead for sonic blasting to map the seabed offshore. Now, that research project has some legitimate goals, right? It does, but we also have other concerns. Um, one of the concerns is that when you let it set off all those sonic booms underwater, it's almost like underwater fireworks. It impacts uh, sea mammals and, fi and, uh, and fisheries. It could change fishing patterns and chase fish away. But more importantly, it could actually lead to um, stranding of uh, dolphins and other sea mammals because of the impact of those sonic noises, that they're like underwater explosions. The other concern we have is that that data could be used uh, because it's public data by oil companies to find places to drill off in New Jersey and then pressure the Department of Interior for oil leases. We've blocked similar testing at the federal level for the oil companies. And, and Senator we Menendez says we want to block it again, so. Yes, right. absolutely. And, and so we're concerned that this data could be used for by the oil companies to pressure the federal government for more testing and potentially oil leases. Finally, Jeff, your reaction to the Christie administration's new rulemaking process to opt out of the regional greenhouse gas initiative? Well, you know, I'll, I'll just say it this way. In a state that's been so impacted by climate change with Hurricane Sandy and all the other storms, that New Jersey can actually grow its economy, create jobs while reducing greenhouse gases. And that's what REGI does, the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative. It created in New Jersey 1,800 jobs and reduced air pollutants by over uh, 18 million tons. New York State is still in REGI, and they just attracted a new solar factory. They set up out of REGI funds a $300 million fund for, for, for businesses to do uh, green jobs. And New Jersey is falling behind. And I think. Um, the governor is more concerned about his national political agenda than he really is about New Jersey's economy and environment. Okay, Jeff Tittle of the Sierra Club, thanks for being with us. Thank you.